Florida Arab loved the habitation of your house and the place where you honor to God. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep, followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no help in us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant your faithful people and merciful Lord pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and filled with the quietness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light. Pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Oh, mm-hmm. Psalm 104. I'm Praise ready. the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you have become exceedingly glorious. You are clothed with majesty and honor. You clothe yourself with the light and as with a garment. And spread out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters. And make the clouds your chariot, and walk upon the wings of the wind. You make winds your messengers. And flames of fire your ministers. You lay the foundations of the earth. That it never should move at any time. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stand above the hills. As you rebuke, they fled. At the voice of your thunder, they hastened away. They went up as high as the hills, down to the and down to valleys beneath. Even to the place you had appointed for them. You have set bounds for them which they shall not pass. Neither shall they again cover the earth. You sent the springs into the rivers, which run among the hills. As beasts, all, of, all beasts of the field drink thereof. And the wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them shall the birds of the air have their habitation. And sing among the branches. The water, the hills from above. The earth is filled with the fruit of your works. You bring forth grass for the cattle. And plants for the service of mankind. That they may be bring food out of the earth, which makes glad the heart. No, and wine. And wine that makes glum the heart. Yeah, you can't forget that. And oil to make a cheerful countenance, and bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are also full of sap. Even the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted. The high hills are a refuge. Nope, nope, the Lord. wherein? Verse 17. Where, wherein the birds may send them. And the fir trees are a dwelling for the stork. And so are the stony cliffs for the rock badgers. You have pointed the moon to mark the seasons. And the sun knows it's going down. You make darkness that it may be night. In which all the beasts of the forest move. The lions roaring after their prey. Seek their meat from God. The sun riseth and they go away together. 
and they lay themselves down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work. And to his labor until evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you made them, all the earth is full of your creatures. So is the great wide sea also. In which all are, I'm sorry, in which are things creeping innumerable, creatures both small and great. There are, there go the ships, and that, there is that is Leviathan. Leviathan. Whom you have made to take its pleasure therein. These all wait upon you. That you may give them food in due season. That you may give them. No, when you give. When you give them it to them, they gather it. And when you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are troubled. And when you take away their breath, they die and are turned again to their dust. When you let your breath go forth, they shall be made. And you shall renew the face of the earth. The glorious majesty of the Lord shall rejoice forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. If he even touches the hills, they shall smoke. I will sing upon the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. And so shall my words please him. My joy shall be in the Lord. As for sinners, they shall perish from the earth, and the ungodly shall come to an end. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first reading is Haggai 2. In the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not as nothing in your eyes? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Shut the door. Be, be strong, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord. Work, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts, according to the covenant that I made with you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit remains in your midst. Fear not, for thus says the Lord of hosts. Yet once more in a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations so that the treasures of all nations shall come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. On the twenty-fourth month, on the on the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Ask the priests about the law. If someone carries holy meat in the fold of his garment and touches with his fold bread or stew or wine or oil or any kind of food, does it become holy? The priests answered and said, No. Then Haggai said, if someone who is unclean by contact with a dead body touches any of these, does it become unclean? The priest answered and said, It does become unclean. Then Haggai answered and said, So it is with this people and with this nation before me, declares the Lord. And so with every work of their hands. And what they offer they, and what they offer there is unclean. Now then, consider from this day onward. Before stone was placed upon stone in the temple of the Lord, how did you fare? When one came to a heap of twenty measures, there were but ten. When one came to the wine vat to draw fifty measures, there were but twenty. I struck you, 
and all the products of your toil with blight and with mildew and with hail, yet you did not turn to me, declares the Lord. Consider from this day onward, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider, is the seed yet in the barn? Indeed, the vine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, and the olive tree have yielded nothing. But from this day on, I will bless you. The word of the Lord came the second time to Haggai on the 24th day of the month. Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I am about to shake the heavens and the earth, and to overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I am about to destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations, and overthrow the chariots and their riders, and the horses and their riders shall go down, every one by the sword of his brother. On that day, declares the Lord of hosts, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, declares the Lord, and make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, declares the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Did I check time? Make sure it's time. the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. Behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed, for he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel as he promised to our father Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading is Matthew 15, 1 to 28. All right. You need to finish that so you can read. You shouldn't have got that. Or you can read. Then Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the traditions of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, If anyone tells his father or mother, What you would have gained from me is given to God, he need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition, you have made void the word of God. You hypocrites! Well did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a person. Then the disciples came and said to him, Do you know what the Pharisee do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up. Let them alone, they are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. Peter said to him, Explain the parable to us. And he said, Are you still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands... No, you didn't hear me. Oh, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. And Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. 
My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let your, your servant depart in peace according, according to your word. word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let's do the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, no, no, no. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead, say I believe. Even the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us, and that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O oh Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and good will. We entreat you, O oh Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for all our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O oh Lord, that there may be peace in your church and in the whole world. We entreat you, O oh Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to you. We entreat you, O Lord. Lord Jesus, you call Matthew from collecting taxes to become your apostle and evangelist. Grant that us to forsake all covetous desires and, in, and incarnate love of riches, that we may follow you as he did and proclaim the world around us as the good news of your salvation. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Before you pray the next one, that word was inordinate, so it's saying, free us from that, from any love of wealth that's more than we should, so that we would love God. Okay, keep praying. Yep. Okay. O oh Lord, you have taught that us that without love all our deeds are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of charity, the true bond of peace and all virtue, without which love will live and count the dead before you. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you gave your servant John John Coleridge Hatson and his companion boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of this world and courage to die for his faith. 
plant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope of that is in us and to suffer gladly for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lived and lived forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let in our darkness we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love and companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Any intercessions or thanksgivings? We pray for our huddle tonight, and we pray for people that are wrestling with the faith and um, or continuing to grow in their faith. We just pray that your spirit will be present and that um, people would be walking with you more um, wholly and completely as they um, walk through this, this group together. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well beloved Son when, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. Join us in this world, knowledge of the truth in the age to come. Life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. For it's okay. Thank you for joining us today for evening prayer. Augie, great job leading, and we will see you tomorrow at uh, 8 a.m. I'll be leading. <laughs>